Hi, let us understand how to do the app management within Argo CDE. Before getting into the demo, let me explain what I am going to do over the demo. I already have Argo CDE installation. I am going to create a new application where I will be marking a specific GitHub repository as the source and I will be marking a target Kubernetes cluster as well. In my case, I am running Argo CD as a part of my Minikube installation. Within the same Minikube cluster, I will be deploying the application or syncing the GitHub source with the target Minikube. So whatever the workloads defined within the GitHub repositories will be created within the Kubernetes cluster. I do have this specific uh, GitHub repository forked in my GitHub repository with the name Argo CD examples app. Within that, I have a subfolder called guestbook. Within guestbook, I do have two YAML files, one for deployment, another for service. So here I have the deployment where the replica is marked as two. It's going to deploy this specific uh, image. And I do have a service as well. So this is a valid YAML file. I'll be marking this specific uh, a repository URL as the source and I'll be marking the localhost Minikube as the target. Already I do have Minikube running in my VM. The commands that I'm going to execute, I have added as a part of this particular repository. within the file Argo CD app management. Here I have marked the GitHub repository and uh, the other commands if I'm going to do it with the command line interface. So basically the app management, we will be doing it through the command line interface as well as through the web UI. First, we will start with the web UI. The Argo CD is running and uh, let me get into the web UI. Here I am going to make sure the port where Argo CD service is running. So that that's made to run as a part of this specific port. And I have uh, started my SSH tunnel to this specific port. So I can use localhost. So localhost and the port will be routed to this specific IP address in the destination. And that's being marked as the node port. So this is the Argo CD server I am accessing. So once if I log in, I should have this specific uh, UI. In case if you wanted to check how to log into the web UI, I have uploaded a previous video, you can verify. Here I do have options for the application management, new app. I can provide the name for the application, my guest app, and uh, give a name to the project. Project is nothing but group of applications. By default, the default project will be available. If required, we can go ahead and create a new project and put the applications into that specific project. Sync policy, as of now, I'm going to have it as manual. I'll leave all other values as default. Repository URL. I'll paste the repository URL. Automatically, it's going to pick all the branches. Here, I'll provide this book. If it is a Helm project or customized or JSON, it's going to list automatically. If it is a plain path, it's not going to list. So we can type it, guest book. And the destination, the local cluster where Argo CD is running and uh, the namespace default all other values i'll leave it as default we will be discussing it in the future lecture i can see this particular code as a part of yaml as well so i'm going to have the destination and the source what this particular argo cd is going to manage 
say create so the application will be created by default all the components are missing and uh, it is out of sync the reason because the auto sync is disabled i can go ahead and give the option sync in case if i wanted any un or not required applications i can uh, mention prune so this is going to delete the unnecessary workloads and say synchronize so the components or the workloads will get created and it will be keeping it in sync with the GitHub repository. Here auto sync is not enabled. So this is not going to sync the GitHub repository, but every three minutes it's going to check whether the Argo CD is in sync with the GitHub repository and it's going to mark the status whether it is in sync status or out of sync. If it is out of sync, it will wait for manual trigger to sync it. In case if auto sync is enabled, automatically it will be syncing it. This will be saying it as a separate lecture. So an application is deployed. Now I can uh, check the details about the application sync status. I can check various parameters and what are all events happen with this particular application. I can verify. I can see the history, what all incidents or the deployments happened. Now I can delete the application if in I can delete the application if it is not okay. So here's where I'm going to have the list of applications. Now let me go ahead and uh, create application using command line interface as well. For that, I need to log into the Argo CD. Let me get the Argo CD admin password, Argo CD admin initial password within the namespace Argo CD. This is going to display the Argo CD admin password now let me log into the argo cd i'll provide the node port and the ip address since this is uh, making a login without the certificate it's going to provide this warning let me proceed insecurely and provide the username as admin password let me copy paste I have logged into the Argo CD successfully. Now I can create applications using command line interface as well. Argo CD app create. This is the name of the application, the repository from where it should uh, pick the path within the repository and the destination that's the local host of uh, Kubernetes cluster and uh, the destination namespace. The application will get created. I can verify that within the web UI as well. If you look at here, it's going to give a warning saying uh, it's out of sync. I can go ahead and uh, trigger the sync manually through the web UI or I can do that using command line interface as well. Argo CD app sync and the name of the app Argo CD book CLI. This will check the status and keep it in sync with the GitHub repository. So the way I can manage the applications through the web, I can manage it through the command line interface as well. Let me go ahead and delete this particular app through the command line interface. Argo CD app delete name of the app guestbook CLI going to give a warning whether I wanted to delete yes and the application is deleted so that should uh, disappear from the applications it's disappeared and uh, I can delete this particular application as well 
a synthesis so these are all the sync status let me go ahead and delete the application through the web ui also delete and type the name of the app my guest app it's deleted so what we have done we try to create a new application through the web ui as well as the command line interface and uh, try to see the details of the application then we deleted it for command line interface we have to log in by generating the initial password for the argo cd admin and login with the ip address of the repo server 